Hey everyone. So today we're gonna do a 10 by 20 flip and drag. I already put my white down and I'm just popping some air bubbles. But um, I have a lot of people that ask me for more blues. They really like the combinations of blues that I use so I thought well we'll do another one. Why not, right? So I'm going to use a 5 ounce cup and I will spray it with the WD-40 silicone spray and then just releases the paint and I am going to rub it in on this one and this will keep the paint from sticking to the cup that way it all comes down to the bottom. So I'm going to start with a little bit of black. And I only use about a tablespoon of each color. I'll follow that with the Deco Art Whispering Turquoise. And then we'll use the Artist Loft Iridescent Medium that's mixed with the Grumbacher Prussian Blue. And a little bit of Artist Loft Cerulean Blue. doesn't get used very much and this top on this one is very narrow so I think instead of fighting with it I'm just going to take the cover off okay I'm just going to give that a tiny little swirl with a skewer Pop it right here in the middle. All the paint is dropping and I'm going to go ahead and just pop a hole in the cup and this will release the suction. When you put a um, cup on top of paint it likes to make a create a vacuum so that will help release it. I'm just going to let a little bit out and we're going to go ahead and glide on top of that white paint. Picking up and leaving as we go. I want to bring a little bit of this back down here. I like to let it settle in and check spots that are a little shallow just to give them a little boost there to fill back in. Sometimes you can't help but hit the canvas so I want to just address that while I'm there. And if you're new, go ahead and click subscribe while you're here and click on that bell. You'll get notified when we upload our next video. Okay, let me give it just a quick torch, oops, just wanted to see if there was anything under there, we're going to stretch it out. don't want to go over the edge, but you do want to stretch it out so you have a little more filling in. And it helps to bring up some more cells as well. And sometimes you have to do this just a couple of times to um, open those cells up. But as soon as you start seeing some possible zigzagging, that's probably when you want to stop. And I'll bring it back to the middle there. But 
it's good to keep all your paint moving together. Alright, so if you've been watching my channel, you know what I'm going to do next, but those of you that are new, um, I like to use an airbrush to push out all these little edges. wisp them out. Um, we like the wispiness. Personal preference. <laughs> you don't have to. Um, you can use a straw. So I like to hold my airbrush like a pencil and I like to pretty much go sideways with it to control it a little bit more. But if you are new, um, check out my playlist. I have a bunch of tutorials in there on paint mixing and how to airbrush, how to clean your paintings and varnish them and how to wire them, how to ship them. So it's start to finish. I kind of like this. I'm just going to push this out to it to make it a little thicker. Got some pretty cool cells down here. I don't want to disrupt them too much. some glue under there that I'm picking up bringing out so it's a little blackish grayish right here I'm going to move some glue into that so it's not such a big white spot I think that's good I think I'm happy with it right there Lots of cell action on those edges. So let me give it a quick torch. I'm grabbing for things that are normally there, but I was moving stuff around while I was mixing some paint today. So it's not where it's supposed to be. Do you ever do that and you go to reach and it's not there? Yeah, I'm having one of those moments. Let me just clean up my edges and I'll give you a peek. Close. So it's starting to get cold here in North Carolina. So I know all summer you listen, listen to my AC humming in the background and now you're going to be listening to my heater, but it also ventilates um, the Parage, which is our garage studio. So it does help us with ventilation. So here you go. It's pretty. And it didn't go heavy on the black, just in that one little spot. So we'll see what it looks like when it's dry. So check out all the links below. Um, there's still time to sponsor us uh, for the drawing on November 1st. You can hit that PayPal link below and donate a little bit of money if you want. Um, it does help us to purchase our supplies and keep our videos fresh. Um, we also use it for equipment for the Paraj um, to keep us going. And we do sell our paintings on Etsy. That link is below. If you need supplies like the airbrush or the torch, 
or this washing machine tray, anything like that, that is in our Amazon shop. That link is below as well. And we have fan mail. It's Christina Welch Art, P.O. Box 863, Youngsville, North Carolina, 27596. We've been getting some really cool gifts in the mail, so that's really cool. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a great night. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.